Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this photo that's um, one version of the old concept arts for the characters. Someone asked me to look at this, I can't believe I hadn't seen it until now, um, but you all know I like talking about fashion in the show, so let's break it down. Some of these outfits are quite similar, some are quite different. Especially you, Julika. You all right? Looks like she's having a midlife crisis. I know what you're saying. She's only like, what, 14? She can't be having a middle life crisis. But if she dies at 28, then she is having a midlife crisis. All right. So first up, we have Max. He looks largely the same, although he does look like he's about to punch someone. Um, <laughs> otherwise, he's the same. Kim looks sufficiently more smug than usual, but again, he's the same. Miss Bustier is the same, except she has a very strange head shape. Um, Mr. Damocles' head is cut off in this picture. I don't remember him being that tall. He's wide. But is he that tall? Maybe I'm just remembering this wrong. But to me, he's small and wide. I didn't think he was tall and wide. Can you imagine how terrifying that would be if Mr. Damocles is running down the street after you, tall and wide? He'd be terrifying. Up next, we have Adrian. He's pretty much wearing the same thing. Can't see the colour of his shoes. And the only other difference really is that um, you can't really see the stripes on his shirt. They do look like they're there, but the colour's just more muted. You know, in the show, they're like the fluorescent colour. Here, they're just kind of a muted version of the colour. And his hair does look less like a bunch of bananas are sitting on top of his head. So um, he's got that going for him. He also looks ever so slightly angsty, but I think that's due to the pose he's drawn in. He looks like... um. He looks like he's not having a good time. And you know what? He's completely right for looking that way because within the space of a year, he will hashtag not be having a good time after everything that's happened. Up next, we have Nino, who is still wearing the pair of shoes I absolutely hate. Right, I have this thing. Okay, I like trainers or sneakers for the Americans among us who are watching. Why are they called sneakers in the first place? Like, who are you sneaking up on? I don't know. But, right, I like trainers or sneakers. I'm not a big fan of big, chunky sneakers or trainers like this. I think they're... ugly. <laughs> the only other major difference with Nino is the change in colour of his t-shirt. And I think I prefer the colour they went with in the show, which is obviously blue. And I'm also really glad they gave him a hat in this old concept art because um Nino does not look okay without a hat. Alia was 100% lying in Chameleon when Lila or Adrian, I guess they thought it was Adrian at the time, stole his hat and she was like, it's okay, you look good without a hat. No, mate, she was lying to you. You don't. Keep it on. Sleep with it on. Please. <laughs> Up next we have Marinette. Um... Okay, <laughs> I have some thoughts. First of all, I am not the biggest fan of her outfit in the show. Now, I don't outright hate it with a passion. Like, I, I, I can look at it and not, you know, want to throw up or whatever. It doesn't make me want to punch my screen because it annoys me that much. But first of all, I'd never wear it. But to be fair, I wouldn't wear most of the things in the show. I mean, the top outfits I would wear in the show, Mr. Banana's outfit and Party Crash's outfit and maybe Queen Bee's outfit, and also Lady Bee's outfit, but that's more for the hair than the rest of the outfit. Anyway, I'm getting away from <laughs> what I'm talking about now. However, I feel that Marinette's outfit in the show, first of all, I don't feel like it's good enough for the main character of the show, you know what I mean? I'm like, if I was the main character and I could only pick one outfit, I sure as hell wouldn't have picked that. Secondly, <laughs> um, she's also meant to have an interest in fashion, and the outfit she wears in the show... Um, screams anything other than that to be honest however now i have seen this i definitely prefer the outfit she now wears in the show right don't get me wrong i love dungarees i love them so much i think they are wonderful and i, I don't hate the color of these but dungarees with a blazer no and I also hate the fact that the shirt has got detail on like I can understand why the shirt in the show has detail on because there's nothing else interesting happening on the top half of the clothes on her body however here the dungarees is adding a lot of activity this outfit 
is very much bottom half, nothing going on. Top half, everything is going on. It's too much, it's too busy. I dislike it intensely. And yeah, I love bows, but um, that bow in the hair isn't doing it for me. I'm sorry, Marinette. Um, I'm glad you changed your outfit, but I hope, I'm hoping in season six, they're going to age up when we get the older Bunnix characters. Um, I am hoping your next outfit is going to absolutely blow me away, because if it doesn't, I will be very disappointed. Up next, we have Sabrina. And they were absolutely intent on having a character wearing shorts with a pair of tights. Doesn't look good in the show and it doesn't look good now. I guess they were just really set on this outfit for Sabrina, but with just a, like a different colourway in the show. I still hate it. I'm not entirely sure if I prefer this one to the colour palette picked in the show. Honestly, yeah, I think I prefer this one. It's a bit more cohesive. The colours used for Sabrina's outfit just so strange like I don't mind in theory Sabrina being unfashionable because she's meant to be Chloe's lackey she's meant to have like you know low self-esteem so she doesn't think much of herself she doesn't often stand up to Chloe because she feels this way about herself I can see that I can I can you know I can see that I can get behind that in terms of her character but um it also doesn't stop me from thinking the outfit is ugly however one thing I do like the hair this suits her so much more than the bob with the headband. I think she looks great. I love this hair. I wish they'd gone with this hair. This is wonderful. Now up next we have Miss Chloe Bourgeois herself. And I, let's say from a distance I like it, but up close I'm like, mm, no. One thing I really dislike, okay, first of all, you all know I like rompers. Lila wears a romper in the show and I think she has one of the best civilian designs in the whole show. I think her romper and her civilian outfit just in general is amazing. Not her hair, the hair is awful, but the rest of the outfit is great. So I love a good romper. However, one thing I like about Lila's romper is that it goes in at her waist, it gives her some shape. This is looking very flat on Chloe just very straight up and down and while some people suit that style I don't think this suits Chloe particularly so if this romper went in at the waist because you can see it's not a dress it separates into shorts if this went in at the waist it would look amazing and if it was going to be a dress I think it would need to go in at the waist I think that would suit Chloe so much more however that being said I do really like the cardigan actually I love the length I love the colours I do quite like this more subtle colour palette for Chloe but I think they maybe could have added some splashes of yellow that would have looked cool I also really like the handbag the handbag's cute uh, as for the shoes the boots I have a love-hate relationship with white boots that every single time I see a pair in a shop I want to buy them but I'm also aware that no one on this planet has actually been able to pull them off well so I never buy them which I think is always the right decision. So I like the idea because I can't think of a character who does wear knee-high boots, but um, this isn't it. Now, Chloe's hair. I like it purely because in this style, it looks a bit like my hair. <laughs> uh, however, I do wanna, I'm gonna have to say, I actually prefer Chloe's hair in the show. Only because, only because, hear me out besties, if it's not in a ponytail, that means when she becomes Queen Bee, she doesn't get the bee drill hairstyle, and then that means Lady Bee doesn't get that hairstyle. And you all know I'd, you know, go to war for the Lady Bee hairstyle. So, um, that's why I'm saying I prefer it in a ponytail. But I think this hair is gorgeous, obviously, because it's my hairstyle, so obviously I think it's gorgeous. You know, be a bit weird if I thought it was ugly, yet I still continued to wear it. <laughs> but I do really like it. Maybe when Chloe ages up, I kind of love for her to have this hairstyle. I think that's really going to suit her when she's a bit older. But right now, I think a ponytail, considering her age, is the right decision. So now moving on to our final two, Julika and Rose. Am I going to do Rose first, just because um, <sighs> Julika is... Um, she's been through some things, obviously. So let's talk about Rose. And oh my god, the hair is everything. But again, with Chloe, I feel like the style, I don't feel like it's right for her age in that I feel like this style is too young for Rose. Like if we ever got a flashback and saw Rose at seven years old, 
I would expect her to have this hair. It makes it look very sweet and very cute, which Rose is, and I love the curls, looks gorgeous, but I think it's just a bit too young looking for her. However, I do really like the outfit. I've never been a big fan of like Rose's like tunic dress with the leggings. Always looked a bit weird for me. I always wanted them to give her like an actual dress, like just go on, give her an actual dress instead of that random thing. So um, I absolutely love it with all the little frill details on the sleeve. She's so adorable, which Rose is. So now let's talk about her girlfriend, Julika. At least I think it's Julika because, um, I mean, everyone else, you can tell who they're supposed to be. This one is by far the most different. <laughs> oh gosh, wow, Julika. Okay, let's start with the hair. I do quite like the hair, actually. Um, however, I think I prefer the one in the show. I guess it's because she's related to Luca, so they kind of mirror each other in that Luca has like his natural hair colour with the tips dyed like that turquoisey colour and then Julica has her hair a natural colour and then parts of it are dyed purple. So I prefer it that way plus as well it means when she does get an outfit change that more neutral hair colour with a splash of colour is going to be easier to match clothes with her and a colour palette with her instead of this very vibrant hair. But if she was ever down to wear wigs in the show I think this would be great. As for the rest of the outfit I actually do quite like it to be honest. I am really not at all the biggest fan of Julika's outfit in the show. I like some of the lace details but for me when I see Julika's outfit I'm just like what? It's just weird to me. I just think her outfit is downright bizarre. I love the hair in the show but her outfit is just strange to me. I'm like what are you wearing? Every time I see Julika I'm just like did you get dressed in the dark? Like what? what's going on because Luca dresses so well I love Luca's outfit but I do like this it's like a dark turtleneck with like a romper or dungarees over the top they're really going for rompers and dungarees in this early concept art so I must have been addicted to them although I don't think I'm the biggest fan of the stripy socks and big boots I think it's just a bit too loud for Julika you know what I mean she likes to blend in this would make her stand out she's quite shy this would make her seem like she's super outspoken I don't think it quite suits her personality with the way it is in the show. I think for Julika, what would have looked better instead is if we nick Chloe's knee-high boots, put them in Julika, flat boots, not heel boots, and make them a dark colour with maybe purple patterns on. That would look absolutely gorgeous. I think that would be much better. So there you go, besties. That was my uh, brief roast, the Miraculous Ladybug concept art. I haven't actually seen any of the early concept art apart from like the old 2D animation style of um, Felix and Bridget, where Felix pretty much looks exactly the same and Bridget looks pretty much the same as Marinette, except with less colour and really strange hair. So if you've seen more concept art and would like me to react to it, I would totally be down for that. You can email me the concept art, send it me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Discord, wherever. I definitely be down to do it because I don't think I've really seen any more of it. So I'd love to know what you think of these outfits besties and I'll see you in the next one.